Let's go to Dr. Dick Bergren. I'm with rookie sensation Jeff Gordon, who has won his first ever career pole for this race at Charlotte. He's got no wins in 1994, but he's got a pair of seconds. One of them right here in the spring. Jeff, your crew chief says this is your racetrack, the one you're best suited for. Is today your day? Well, it can be. Uh, you know, if we make all the right things happen, so far it's been a perfect week for us. And, uh, you know, we've got to have good pit stops, uh, got to stay out of trouble. And if we could do all those things, it could be our day. But uh, we're just going to have to wait to see. Working with me on pit road today is Johnny Hayes. John? The guy that's on the pole, young man, Jeff Gordon, just got out of sprint cars, dirt cars. He's over in this type of racing now. He's ran sideways all his life. He's young. He doesn't know any better. He's liable to put on the show today. What we need is Neil Bond in that group. Let's take a look at the uh, starting grid for today's 34th annual Mellow Yellow 500. It's presented by Havel. Jeff Gordon is on the pole, 22-year-old freshman, youngest Winston Cup pole sitter in 41 years. And alongside his fifth straight front row start, that's Ernie Urban. Pace car bringing the field down, getting set for a start. Randy Travis to drop the green over the field today. Mellow Yellow and Coca-Cola talking about a 10-year deal with the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Not talking about it, they signed the deal today. And they're going to be here for some time to come. Here comes the field. Rolling down for a start. Gordon getting a bit of a break. And he's away. In front for just a moment. Ernie Urban right back as the car 75 wheels on the pit road. Already having a problem. Todd Bodine. They said he's been black flagged. I'm not sure what that's about, Kim. But they did black flag him. There's Gordon. I tell you what, Ernie Urban wanted to try to make that pass. And Gordon inside. Here comes Jeff. Look here, Jeff Bodine. Three deep going into turn three. Jeff Bodine in the number seven car. He's been a good one. Carries himself right up into second spot behind Ernie Urban out in front. A lot of concern about the drivers when they get in traffic. They don't know exactly how these cars are going to feel. They're faster down the straightaway, but they need that spoiler in traffic. We're going to see what happens. Todd Bodine comes back on the track, and he's overlapped as they wheel down the back straightaway. It's Urban in front, Jeff Bodine in second, Jeff Gordon in third, Schrader and Greg Sachs on board. DW as he storms up through the field. Coming around that lap car of Todd Bodine. There's Terry Labonte directly in front of him. 55 car right there down on the inside. Going back to the front. Good scramble for second place. Bodine under challenge. Jeff Gordon there. Jeff Gordon pressing on the inside. Looking for any kind of a hole to open up and get back into second place as Ernie Irvin draws away in the early going. Okay, that little 24 car, Jeff Gordon, has really been strong all week. I think people thought he would lead the race, but Ernie Irvin in the 28 got a big jump on him. Earnhardt runs in the eighth position. 12 laps, 18 miles complete by one and seven tenths. Ernie Irvin out in front of now Dale Earnhardt in second place, wasting no time moving through traffic. Earnhardt has pulled himself up into second position. Take a look at this pass just a moment ago. Kenny got a run off the second turn, drove the car down under the 24 of Jeff Gordon. Makes the car stick right here, right on the bottom of the track. Pulls up in front of him, coming off turn four. Came through a lot of traffic up to second place. Car or experience? Well, I tell you, I think this rule thing with a little bit of looseness might be coming Earnhardt's way. Uh, he doesn't mind wrestling one around. Uh, and Rusty Wallace back there, he's coming on up also. Wallace on the move is now into 14th, and Gant has jumped up into 13th. Harry Gant, remember, was behind Wallace when last we reported to you on him. He's picked up a couple of... Meanwhile, look at Gordon fighting with Earnhardt another time as they battle for second. Yeah, Earnhardt passed him. Here comes Gordon right back. While they're doing this, 28 car, Ernie Irvin just checking out. Well, these guys are racing real hard. Picks up a tenth, one and eight now. One and eight tenths of a second between first and the second place battle of Earnhardt and Jeff Gordon. Further back for you. And look at this battle continue for second. What a story on Kyle from 31st. He's up to 17th in that uh, car 42 Pontiac. Look at this war. On the inside, Gordon, the pole sitter, right alongside Dale Earnhardt. We went to Bill Elliott a while ago. He moved up higher on the racetrack in three and four, and it seemed to be fast for him. A couple of laps ago, Earnhardt moved up to try. It looked like it looked like Gordon could get under him when he gets high. 
But the difference is, can you get that momentum off the corner pinching the car in the bottom? So these guys are uh, fishing around trying to find a place on the track to run. And as they run side by side, they squander the opportunity to close on uh, Ernie Irvin. He's checked out. He's out in front by three seconds now. I'm not sure they're squandering. I think he was checking out anyway. That thing <laughs> of his is running. These guys are racing. Still side by side, back straight away, but it's awfully early to be links up in a war like this for the moment Gordon here comes Earnhardt right back on the inside dynamite racing at lap let's see coming up 21 well you just said again the name of the game is racing it's not ride and the racing we do nowadays in Winston Cup you race from the time they drop that green flag to the checker these guys are running just as hard as it were the end of the race all these rule changes as you watch Earnhardt on the bottom of the racetrack, Gordon alongside. Gordon goes back into second spot. Boy, for an early race battle, we've got a dandy, and it's Jeff Gordon once again taking that high road. Here comes Earnhardt rolling back on the inside as they come out of turn number four. He settles in behind for a moment. Dale, are you for or against the rule changes? like always it give us a couple of races a little time in the wind tunnel where the cars dial back in and stuck back to the racetrack so if it'll slow the cars some down in the race and uh, help do accomplish what they want to without putting a restrict plate on I'm, I'm for that meanwhile ernie irvin pulls away to almost a four second lead three and nine tenths and check out this interval between that car in the lead and your battle for second spot Here's Gordon, back to second, in third is Earnhardt. Behind him is Greg Sanders, a great qualifying spot in the number 68 car, country time car. Then Bill Elliott fifth, Schrader sixth, Martin seventh, Harry Gant to eighth, Rick Mass to ninth, Ricky Rudd to tenth, Spencer Wallace twelfth. Think about this kid in second spot, this kid right there. As he continues to work Jeff Gordon in that second spot, Earnhardt maintaining third the veteran who really knows how to get that car sideways and here's Jeff Gordon running second here's Dick Bergman there's trouble with the 24 car Ken Squire in fact there's double trouble with the 24 one of the problems that they're having their radio is not working properly Gordon is unable to talk to his crew although his crew can talk to him now the crew just asked him a couple of laps to go when you come by if it's loose wave and we saw a frantic wave through the window before the radio went out Gordon was complaining on nearly every lap. The car is getting looser and looser in the corners. 